The month of July 2020 is coming to an end, meaning we get to reflect on 10 of our favorite Android apps to hit the Play Store during the month. Without further ado, let's get started. Notification history saves all of your incoming notifications and messages so that when you dismiss or clear a notification, you will be able to go back and remember what it is that you may have accidentally cleared. It's really that simple, but there are some nice little add-ons here and there, like the ability to add a widget to view the notification log instantly on your home screen. You can blacklist apps to ignore them in the notification logs, and you can back up and restore your log too. And I think the cherry on top is that all the backups that you do perform are encrypted and stored on your phone and not the cloud. Me Control Center is a powerful customization app that takes over the Android notifications and quick settings section of your phone. The app keeps your notifications and your quick settings separate from one another. So you can swipe down from the left side of the screen to view your notifications. And if you swipe down on the right side of the screen, you can view your Control Center or your quick settings. And you can customize the heck out of this app. You can customize the background colors. It even features some neat tricks like it groups together notifications from the same app into the same notifications so you don't get spammed with all sorts of different notifications. Um, overall, this is just a great customization app to check out. Spirit Sprint is an endless runner with some really neat visuals. You basically just fly through the wilderness as a spirit that transfers from animal to animal. I know it's kind of weird, but there are forests and meadows to soar through as well as dangerous caves and mines. The gameplay changes each time you play it and there are various power-ups and animals to unlock. Uh, if, if you like what you see, you know, I think you should check it out. It's a fun, casual game to just pick up and play. Odo Music is one of the best new music players on the Play Store, in my opinion. It's chocked full of features like Chromecast support, it features lyrics support, a light and dark mode, an equalizer, and some delightful animations and icons. I typically use Spotify, and so I don't have a lot of on-device music. But if you do, you should check this app out. It's super fluid, it works well, and it's packed full of features that I think you will really like. Rain Viewer is a powerful weather forecast app that helps you track rain, snow, or really any storm on the live radar map. Obviously, we're in the summer months, so there's really not a ton of precipitation to watch out for, but I can see this app being great in the fall and winter because it delivers accurate, up-to-date forecasts. You can see what the forecast looks like in the past, current, and future. Uh, there's a precipitation chart and rain notifications, which will alert you when there is some rainfall, some storms, or snowfall coming to your location. If you're a weather junkie, you probably have your eyes on this app. Bundled Notes is a brand new note-taking, list-making, to-do app. Basically, it does it all, and it syncs across your devices and soon will be accessible via a web app. It's actually currently in beta, so not every feature is available as of yet. But what caught my eye was just the dark and light modes and all of the formatting options. This is a do-it-all note-taking slash writing app that I can highly recommend. Farewell is an old school platform shooter, but don't let the graphics keep you from giving this app a try. It's simple, but it's actually lots of fun as you go up the well and you make your way using a variety of weapons and defeating powerful enemies. You can upgrade your character and you can unlock power-ups to become stronger and stronger. There's a ton of levels and enemies to beat, so you should be entertained for hours on end. Zone Launcher is a smart hidden launcher and sidebar that works on top of any app you are currently viewing. It doesn't replace your current home screen. Instead, it just kind of supplements it via a hidden side-loaded launcher. Basically, you just add a bunch of apps to the sidebar or you can add shortcuts like the ability to activate Amazon Alexa or direct message someone. You can even add other functions like taking a screenshot, you can lock the screen, turn on the flashlight, and much more. Oh, and you can also customize the columns and blocks just depending on how many or how little number of apps that you'd like to have here. But when you swipe in from the side of the screen, you will see all those apps that you added here, and you can even keep swiping off to the right-hand side to view an alphabetical list that you can scroll through to search through all of your apps on your phone. And what's also cool is that it works with left and right-handed users. So if you're a lefty like me, you'll swipe in from the left side of the screen because that's the most comfortable and uh, intuitive way to use the app. Quick Cursor is yet another powerful app that's only possible on Android. What it does is it helps you use big screened smartphones easily with one hand by introducing a computer-like cursor 
controlled with one of your fingers. And similar to Zone Launcher, you swipe in from the edge of the screen. So you actually might not want to use both apps at the same time. Uh, but anyway, it's really freaking easy to use and simple. You swipe in from the side of the screen and you move your cursor over the icon or text or whatever it is you wanna interact with. And you tap on the cursor on the lower portion of the screen. And uh, yeah, it'll interact with that thing that you were interacting with. As you can see, it works great. It's super easy to use. And uh, I think it's pretty much a must have nowadays as phone displays keep getting bigger and bigger. Night Speed is an arcade racing game featuring procedural track generation. So what that means is every race you play will be different. The app is currently in beta, but I just love the racing mechanics. I love the dark theme and animations. And what's relatively unique about this game is that you can actually race online against other players. There's also the ability to level up your car and unlock new parts, but uh, more functionality is coming in the future since this game is still, once again, only in beta. With that last one, those are 10 of our favorite Android apps to hit the Play Store during the month of July 2020. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe if you're brand new, and let us know which app is your favorite in a comment down below. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.